Hey guys, so this is What If Shazam Was in Invincible Part 6, the climax and the ending of Season 1 on Episode 8, guys. And I'm telling you guys, this episode is going to be filled with a lot of emotions, a lot of fight scene, and a lot of just straight up different things happening. Because this is the point in the episode, or this is the point in the series, where the timeline changes a little bit. A little bit too much. A lot of things change. Not, not enough to completely change the character or the course of season one. But enough to, well, have the fight against Mark and pretty much Iron Man change since, you know, Shazam, one of the strongest people in the DC Comics universe, alongside Batman and a couple others like Icon, alongside Mark, pretty much one of the most, one of, a, well, one of the most powerful people in Image Comics, but Image Comics is pretty good, good anyways, but enough, enough talking, let's just get into the what if. We start off the episode with Mark and Billy looking at their father. And Mark would fly towards pretty much, well, would, walk, would pretty much fly towards or try to fight pretty much his father, thinking that he was under control by some sort of alien or some sort of unknown force. Him saying, let my, go da- let my dad go. Let my dad go. After that, Mark pretty much, well, I mean, I would introduce to Mark or tell Mark that it's me, really me, and that this is who I am. And no tricks, no games, nobody's controlling me. And Shazam would have would have flown pat would have flown right next to Mark after pretty much they flew around a little bit. And basically he would have well started to talk about the true heritage of Vulture Everything about them. He tells him about Vulture and how he came from Viltrum, but Viltrum made a huge war to eradicate the weak and to completely destroy those that cannot survive, eliminating the weak from the strong. Basically what will happen is people on their planet, they just killed each other basically for a long, long, long time until it was only the strongest survived, only the most powerful. And that's what happened. Vulture went on to conquer all, all other pretty much planets and made and wanted to make their society, their community, or their government the only government. So they thought it was so good. They thought it was perfect. But what happened is they would go to planet to planet. If they resisted, they would make them not resist. They would eradicate them from the subject and from the problem, taking them out. Now, they would be disgusting about pretty much. He would have said pretty much that he was sent to Earth to pretty much, well, take out its biggest threats, and pretty much, well, take it out. And he would explain everything that we know about Vultrum and why he was sent to Earth. And that's what, that's when he tells Mark about how he met his mother, and everything kind of changed. He hoped he didn't have any power, so he wouldn't have to do anything. But now that he do have powers, he needs to go along with his plan. With the thing he needs to do, conquer Earth, and do good for Vultrum. And Mark would have been crying under the mask, alongside Billy. Because Billy just started to actually care for his father, to actually connect with him. But when Mark and Billy saw this, heard this, Billy was destroyed, Mark was destroyed. They were all hurting, both of them. Mark would have gone crazy, or not crazy, he would have been crying in the mask and he would say, get off of me, after pretty much, well, no one would have tried to comfort him or grab him by the shoulder. He would have said, no, no, basically him saying, why did you wait so long? Him saying, I need to know that you were a Vulture. And pretty much he says, so if I wasn't a Vulture, I would just be one more human to conquer? Basically him bringing in how Billy is just a human. Were you going to kill him too? Basically Billy just not trying to get involved. Him just still processing the fact that his father came to Earth to destroy humanity. But he already was suspicious of his father a couple, a couple days ago or yesterday since he did nothing to protect Mark at the beginning, or pretty much the last episode, the last couple episodes away. Basically, we see that pretty much, well, Nolan would have looked at Mark and would have pretty much just said that after, you know, Mark would go off on him saying that you love mom, you love me, you love Billy, I know you do. 
And basically, well, Nolan would have been... Basically, he would have answered with, Do you know how... Do you know... Do you know any idea? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Do you have any idea how long we live? How long we are... How long we stay in this life? A speck of a human life is nothing but a glimpse in our eyes. I married your mother, yes. But your mother... Your mother was human. I would always eventually outlive her. I would always see her die. And I would always see Billy die one day. But after I found out you were Vulturemite, I needed to keep this bond together. I knew the only thing I would have in a thousand years from Earth would be you. And pretty much, Billy would have just not really took it well saying that. So you're telling me that you'll just sit back and watch me die? You're telling me that you knew all this long, all these years that you knew that you were just going to see us die, wither away. If Mark wasn't a vulture mite, you would have seen him die. If I wasn't, if I didn't give him my powers, I would have died a slow and human death. Is that what you're saying? Basically, pretty much, Billy would have started to go off on pretty much Omni Man or Nolan, basically saying that you're nothing but an alien freak that just wants to, well, rule the planet. Has no real empathy for his for his family, and no one would have tried to tell Billy that I love you both truly. And basically, Mark has, or well, pretty much Mark, kind of just doesn't really want to hear it, but they still do listen. Pretty much, Nolan knows that he's grown to actually love Billy as a son, just like Mark. Love them both, not equally, but love them. Like they're his own sons. Like Billy is his own son. His blood. He loves Billy. But not as much as Mark. Because Mark is his heritage. His true blood. But he has came to a conclusion that he loves Billy. And he loves Mark. He loves pretty much. He loves, well, Debbie. He loves them all. But he knows eventually he would have to come to this conclusion and tell them this. And after Mark would have been, you know, realizing that after what his father said a couple minutes before Billy started to go off on him, is that he knew that when his father told him this, that vulture mice live for thousands of hundreds of millions of years. The older we get, the young, the older we get, the slower we age. We will live for thousands of centuries, and we will see everything around us wither, even Earth will die before Mark does. And Mark realizes this. Flying in the background where Billy is still talking to Mark. Billy is still talking to Omni Man. As uh, Billy stops talking, and it's kind of just let out all of his, well, verbal hate against pretty much, well, Nolan. We see that pretty much Mark starts to realize that his father is telling the truth because he sees this in his eyes. And as he's telling Mark this, that no matter how who you love, you'll always outlive them. It doesn't matter who they are. If they're not Vulture Mite, you will outlive them. You will see them die and wither away. And basically, well, Mark tries to convince Billy and Mar Sorry. Only Man tries to convince Billy and Mark about how the Vulture Mites pretty much co- of the Vulture Mites- well, pretty much coming against or Earth joining the Vulture Mites would give them so much better technology, medical attention. Our technology is so much better than theirs. It will be a great help to both of our species. Pretty much him saying that human DNA counteract human DNA absorbs Vulture Mite DNA way way better than any other alien species. Him saying that in this continuity, because I just. Because if it's not true, it is true in this continuity. Now, basically, we see that pretty much... I'm sorry. Pretty much Nolan... And what would happen is... Nolan would have tried, or Omni Man would have tried to convince both of his sons... Saying the same thing he said to Mark to both of them. And pretty much as he says this, when he gets to the... 
how I do love your mother. She's more as a pet to me. Basically, this would completely strike a nerve in both of them. Making Billy a tad bit more peed off. Because Debbie was more of a mother to Billy than anybody else in Billy's whole life. And she was only one that's really round Billy doing all these years. She was the only one that was she was the only one that gave Billy comfort other than Mark other than Nolan not being really active or not really being that emotional towards pretty much Billy. And Billy would have been pissed. I mean he would have been royally peed off by this, by Nolan saying this. And Mark would have been chanting this, saying, A pet? A pet? As pretty much Nolan tries to put his hands on both of the boys' shoulders, they both back up and Mark says, Get off me. He says to calm down. And basically Mark says, No, I will not calm down. You know what you just told me? You said, Mom. It's like a pet to you. You don't get. You don't give a. You don't give two. Can't say on YouTube, but pretty much him saying, you don't give anything for Earth. You don't even like humanity. Pretty much him going on about how you think Mom is a pet. You think me and Billy could just be persuaded to help you conquer Earth to destroy everything we know and love. And as pretty much Mark goes off saying that I don't, ca I don't care about Voltrum. Me and Billy don't care about Voltrum. We won't let an alien race enslave the people we know, the people we love, the people we fight for. Just for a bunch of aliens we've never met. Basically, pretty much no one would have brought up the fact that I should have, I should have raised you as a Voltrum. I should have raised you as a Voltrumite. And basically. But before he says that, he does go on about how he can't let you or Billy stop him from doing what he has to do. Stop him from his mission. And what would happen is, pretty much, well, no one has said that you don't know what you're saying. And pretty much, Billy's, Billy and Mark get into a fine stance in the sky. Billy conjuring lightning in his fist and... Mark getting to a fine stance, them getting back to back, and then saying, we know exactly what we're talking about. And that's when the real story starts to come into play. Billy and, Billy and Mark would have been in the fine stance, Billy making, a, making a, sw a storm around them, lightning from his, lightning lightning from his chest, emitting from his chest, his eyes going bright, Pretty much energy, but not as bright as they would if he was going full power because they were just about to start fighting. Pretty much Mark would have known that Billy and Mark working together to fight him would be a very difficult task for him to go up against both of them. But he knows he knows how Shazam or how Billy works and he knows how Mark how Mark is just half half Ultramite and doesn't have the training or the experience that Mark that Nolan has. And pretty much well that's when it starts. Omni Man looks at them and says, So be it. Omni Man flies towards both of them, punching Mark in the chest and smacking smacking Billy away. Billy flies off, and this is when I'm gonna be starting to narrate them by their superhero names. Pretty much what would happen is Invincible would have flown towards Omni Man, basically trying to go up against them left and right. Omni Man would have dodged most of the attacks, grabbing Mark and chucking him down to the ground like a ragdoll. As he would be punching Mark left and right into the crater he was thrown into, we would see that pretty much Billy would have stepped in, punching Nolan down to the ground. Basically, I'm switching back to their real names. Pretty much pushing them down to the ground and stopping, stopping, well, pretty much Nolan. Nolan would have gotten back up, not really having a single scratch on him. Him saying, didn't hurt. He flies towards Billy and kicks him down to the ground. He starts to swing around Billy and Mark like ragdolls, him feeling some sort of regret against both of, well, hurting them, both of them. As Debbie's watching her two children being beaten by Nolan, 
Debbie is confused, distraught, and is not believing this. As pretty much, well, Cecil gets told about the, you know, everything that's happening, and it might be very big property damage, and that we don't have any other weapons to take on Omni-Man. They send the rest of the pretty much, well, Guardians of the Globe to clean up the havoc that's happening, or is going to happen. Now, basically, we see that as Mark and pretty much Nolan are fighting, pretty much we see that Shazam gets up from a crater nearby and flies into the sky. As this is happening, we see that two fighter jets are sent to, sent to Nolan to try to take him out. Them knowing that this won't do anything, but it would buy Mark some time to go up against Nolan. As Nolan and Mark would have gone up, would have gone, would have been fighting, Cecil would have known that the last hope to take down pretty much, well, Omni Man was Billy and Mark. Mainly Billy. But basically, we see that the fire jets would have tried to take down pretty much, well, pretty much, well, Omni Man or Nolan and would have chucked pretty much Mark away as Nolan saw this. Nolan would have looked towards the fire jets and would have taken them down very easily, relatively, just quickly. Just taking them all out. One of the fire jets would have been would have been flying down to the ground when pretty much, well, Mark would have saved him and he would have said, oh, thank you. Basically him saying, you know, thank you. Thank you. I knew your heroes were good. And basically Mark would have said, you're going to let him die. Basically him saying, huh, what a waste. Pretty much he would crush the fire jets like the pilot's head in his hands, killing him with one hand. And basically what would happen is pretty much, well, Mark would have seen this. And Shazam would have been walking off the throw he got from Nolan and basically would have looked at Mark saying what happened. He would have said, dad did it. Basically, we see that Billy would have said, he's not my dad. and He's not yours anymore. Basically, he says that he still is our dad. He still raised us and he was still there. Basically, Mark does, Billy does go into consideration that at least Mark, at least, well, Nolan was still actually there. He wasn't, you know, neglecting Billy so much that he didn't really even see or walk towards Billy. He still spent, well, just manual, like father and son time. Not really actual time together, but still. Pretty much. We see that Billy and Mark would have tried to fight against Nolan, and Nolan would have seen that the best, you know, the solution was to take them out and push them against each other. As he would punch both of them because they would be behind each other, he would punch both of them near into a very busy city area, basically punching them all in there. And as this happened, we see that it was a big crater, and Mark would have been punched alongside Billy, gaining up more weight making both of them fly throughout the city like ragdolls. So what would happen is they would start to fight each other. Basically what would happen is the city would start to be collapsed because Mark would have been, you know, thrown so hard. And pretty much we would see that pretty much Mark would have tried to save nearby people alongside Billy also trying to help. A girl and a woman would have actually been saved because, well, Billy would have stepped in and grabbed the pretty much pillar and stopped it from falling. And Mark would have flown in to grab both of them and save them. As he would save both of them, they will be pit or pretty much dropped on by a nearby building. And pretty much, pretty much Mark and Billy would have tried to save the building and save the people as much as possible. Until no one would have showed up. No one would have fought them and would have caused even more damage. Basically, swat, basically focusing most of his power into one final blow towards pretty much well, towards basically... Uh, Billy as strong as he possibly can, making a huge shockwave, destroying a whole building next to them, and basically pushing Billy out of the atmosphere. Billy would have been out of the atmosphere, basically him looking around. Pretty much, Billy would have been absorbing electricity on the pretty much outer sphere of the Earth, and basically would have been thinking, and that's when he he would have flown back to the Earth. He would have been. He would have been. He would have flown back down to Earth, and he would have said Shazam. As he would be falling down to the sky, as Billy, he would have been thinking, staying clear-minded, and not really panicking. And that's when we would be switched back to Mark after the situation where Mark was. Mark would basically be 
Well, used as a human shield to kill thousands of people or hundreds of people on a nearby train on the, on the subway. And basically, Mark would have seen all their all of their lives be taken away. Their bodies crushing on top of his body. Their deaths going into his ears. Him seeing their seeing their tears. Seeing children be killed on his body. Seeing all this death and destruction right in front of his eyes caused by his father. Basically, his father would have looked towards Mark and says, This is what happens when you obey the Vulture Law. This is what happens when you don't do what's right, Mark. Join me. Basically, Mark would have said, It's too late for that. He would have tried to fight against Nolan, but Nolan would have started to beat him up even, even harder, faster, stronger. As he would be flying around, punching Mark left and right, Mark would have been flying towards the Arctic area. But this is when the people in the Arctic area would have been cleared out because pretty much Mark Billy would have been there. Billy would have been in his teenage form, basically telling that it was a huge, pretty much tsunami that was a huge, pretty much, well, a s a snow slime that was coming because he would have been contacted by so by pretty much well, what was it? He would have been contact contacted by pretty much what was it? Sorry, he would have been con. Sorry, someone in the background. He would be contacted by pretty much, well, Sully, or, I don't know, I think his name, I think that's what his name is. Basically, he would have told Mark, he would have told Billy where pretty much the trajectory of their fight was going towards. And basically, he would have evacuated them out there. As he would walk up the mountain, he would basically run as fast as he could. And he would have been thinking, saying that only way. And he would have said Shazam, flying towards Billy. Flying towards Nolan, right when Nolan's about to do the finishing blast towards Mark, and right when he's right when Mark says, "How happy!" Right when Mark was pretty much about to get beaten down, not when Mark was being or had been beaten down, he would have been starting to get beat into a bloody pulp before Shazam or Billy would have showed up, and Billy would have had the rage of black, of black, of black. What was it? Black Adam. He would have had the rage of a thousand gods. And he would have used all of his strength against Nolan as fast and as strong as possible. Not holding back at all. Throwing shockwaves after shockwaves. Nolan's suit being p obliterated, punched, and, sm and smashed around. Nolan would have been thrown around like a rag doll. Nolan feeling that, you know, Mark wasn't holding back. I mean, Billy wasn't not holding back. Billy started, Billy started to use... Thousands of hundreds of trillions of volts of electricity towards Mark, towards Nolan, not holding back at all, making a whole thunderstorm, a thunderstorm so devastating that it was a thousand times worse than any. What would happen is basically, well, after, well, pretty much, Mark would have been punching, I mean, beating the absolute. Dude, water out of Invincible. I mean, out of Mark. I'm out of Nolan. He would have started to slap him around like a rag doll, and pretty much Nolan would have used most of his strength and not holding back at all on Shazam, going ham back and forth. Pretty much a whole entire Dragon Ball Z fight scene just broke out of nowhere. Lightning going, being thrown around, shockwaves being put, shockwaves being cut left and right. Just stuff happening. In multiple times and multiple in multiple punches lining up with each other and then punching each other's fists at the same time basically lining up blows left back to back what would happen eventually pretty much Nolan would have said who are you and pretty much well Billy's well cockiness would have gotten to him basically would have said I'm I'm just am and he would have transformed back into Billy and Mark and pretty much Nolan would have grabbed Billy and would have chucked him towards the snow. Mark would have gotten up and would have catched Billy, but they would both get slammed down to the ground. Billy would have a couple fractured ribs and Mark would have been kind of bruised up. Basically, they would have been beating both down to Blade Pulp. Pretty much Billy being punched into a punch to the wall, him being all bloodied up and bruised, just like Mark. Just when one punch in the chest area, almost killing him. 
And pretty much, well, Omni-Man would have started to beat down Mark, asking him, Think, Mark, think. What will you have in the next thousands of years? What will you have in those years, Mark? And he would have said, You, Dad. And that would change Nolan's perspective. And Nolan would have walked off distraught, confused, and he would have flown off. Now, this is why I'm going to take a couple day break. So it's probably going to be one second for you guys, but yeah. Mark would say this after Mark and Billy were nearly killed. Omni Man would have flown off after Mark would say the words that I'll have you, you dad. Omni Man would have flown off seeing both of his children because he still he started to gain love and respect for Billy, but he flew off, basically leaving them behind. Him being ashamed of what he's done. Ashamed that he almost killed his two children, but he would fly. He would fly off. Basically, Omni Man would have flown off, and that's how he would leave, or that's how the episode would still go down. He would leave Earth, and Cecil and the rest of everybody else would be looking at the havoc left behind. Everything. Now, what would happen is pretty much. What was it? Pretty much, what would happen here is, well, after everything would go down, after everything would happen. Emotional stuff would have started to happen a lot more. After everything was happening, after everything happened, life and Billy and Mark's li lives were changed forever. They are never going to be the same children. They're never going to be the same people again after this. Now, as this would happen, you would see that Billy and Mark would be picked up by Cecil's men and pretty much getting taken to medical care urgently. Pretty much, Debbie seeing both of her children halfway beaten to death, her crying even more in canon because both of her children are could die. Basically, Mark would have gotten medical attention, and pretty much the world would have seen this that Omni Man was a murderer, a killer, not a hero at all. That he destroyed all these people's lives, killed them all. All those people's lives just gone in an instant. Nothing really mattered because Omni Man had no remorse for people left behind. What would happen is pretty much the pretty much the twins or pretty much the villain twins would have blown it up their place or their base to leave it as they would get stopped by pretty much Cecil's men and pretty much told to go back into pretty much well facility or back into well, you know, creativity. And basically what would happen is we would get switched back to pretty much Amber, and Amber would be feeling the pain, seeing that pretty much thousands of people are dead. It's unbelievable, or it's you can't really find out how many people died because so much rubble, so much chaos has happened. Basically, we'll see that pretty much the Guardians of the Globe would have been using most of their powers to take care of the, you know, backlash and the pretty much, what was it, the damage, and after that, We'll be we will skip a couple days or a couple, you know, days later. Where we see Mark would be on straight up kind of sort of life support, and not Mark would have been very beaten like badly. His eye would have been completely red. Both of his legs would have been broken, and he would have bruises all around. He would be in bad shape, but not as bad as his brother. His brother would be punched really hard fracturing some of his ribs but also some of his ribs cutting into his vital organs and without the just and the only pretty much thing Billy could do was to transform Jazam and stay in that form for the rest of his life but he didn't want to do that because pretty much uh, well we would get so much that Mark would have been ashamed of himself and he also would be sad he would be distraught of like well his father everything that happened his father him, his father not really caring for this world. And as we see this, Debbie would have been crying in the hallway. Cecil would have came up to her. Cecil you know, tried to talk to her, try to comfort her, but she wouldn't. She didn't really hear it. She walked off going to Billy's room or to his medical facility, and they would have been able to, you know, stabilize his body and, you know, save his organs, get some organ donors, and Billy would be 
in okay shape, his body would still be adjusted to the new organs, and it could be a chance that he would die from it, but he's a strong kid. So we see that Billy would have been recovering a little bit faster than Mark, but still, Billy could have died because Mark is not Mark is Vulturemite. He's a Vulturem. He could survive a way better... He could survive way more than just a couple of broken ribs. Now basically what would happen is pretty much we would see that, well, Billy would have been in his hospital bed, him being bandaged up, because he would have a lot of, well, straight up, like, deep, deep scrapes into his skin after him being punched a crater into a into a side of a mountain, into the chest with his ribs, with his ribs broken, and his spinal cord nearly being snapped, and him nearly being paralyzed. He was still he wouldn't be paralyzed but still. We see after that, as Guardians of the Globe would have pretty much gone back to their base. We see that Rex would have tried to pretty much well wash off the red stain, and pretty much pretty much well. Black Samson would have tried to stop him. And he would have said that, well, we're a team now and we deserve it. And he would have said, I guess you're right. After they would all, you know, fight back or try to, you know, get together as a team, all get all of them. Now what would happen is pretty much as it would happen, you would get switched a couple of days, a couple of months later, the next day, more see the city would have nearly been recovering from the event. As it would happen, we would get switched to the school. And basically, we see Amber walking down the halls of the school. Pretty much, also what was it? Also, pretty much, William would have been also feeling the pain, and pretty much Mark as well. Mark still being in hospital bed alongside Billy. Billy being in the room, two two two, two rooms away from him. As we switch back to their Guardians of the Globe when they were training. They were training nearly all the same. Nothing really changing. Now, what 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 would change is pretty much, pretty much Shrink Ray's game would have been off, and pretty much she would have not really, well, thought that much. I guess that basically she would have been more worried about Billy because she would actually be visiting Billy at the facility. Basically, pretty much them her him, Billy telling them to contact her because well they're dating. Basically. They would all be feeling the pain. Pretty much everybody would be, well, depressed. No one was a part of everybody's life. I mean, man was a part of no, most of everybody's life. And what would happen is we would get switched to pretty much the team thing about this, and also Shrink Ray also being kind of, you know, worried about Billy. Now, basically, we would get switched to the city, where we see the city would have been recovering slightly, but everything would have not been the same. You know, it wouldn't be the same. It would never be the same. But pretty much what happened is, well, as Billy will be in his medical bed alongside Mark, a couple, a couple, a couple stuff, well, cause a couple, um, sorry, a couple <sighs> rooms down. Basically, we go switch to William, and William would have came to pretty much Mark's house, seeing packages, mail, and also the other stuff, just being unorganized just left there because well they haven't been there in a long time adam eve would have showed up trying to figure out what was happening and pretty much he would have said i don't know and pretty much saying that they've they haven't been here and basically what would happen is well pretty much william was afraid that mark was dead or afraid that mark and billy are dead as we get switched to mark mark would have been getting better because of his vulture my healing alongside billy Billy would have gotten better, and he would have pretty much been able to get into full capacity, I guess. Him being able to walk and function normally, him just not being able to do any, you know, over, you know, over the belt type of, you know, athletic skill for a long while. Just staying, you know, simple, like normal walking, jogging, but no, like, full-on sprinting, jumping, or taking hits, like getting kicked in the chin, in the shins or whatnot, and stuff like that. And basically... Pretty much, we would see that. Well, Billy and Mark would have asked Cecil where was his where was his brother, and he would have checked on Billy. And Billy would have been walking around the room, him getting his stuff on, because he would have been decharged, because his healing would have been nearly done. Because you know he wouldn't be nearly healed or fully healed, but he would still be enough to pretty much well get around and go back home. Him just being told not to do anything 
over dramatic, just not to do anything, you know, heroic in his human form. Now, Shazam form is a different story. Shazam's still in good form, a little bit boosted up because, well, he did get a mind locked by, you know, pretty much Omni Man for a little while, but still. Pretty much Black Adam was, well, still Black Adam. I mean, <laughs> Shazam is still, you know, Shazam. Now, basically, what would happen is pretty much we could switch to Cecil, and Cecil would show Billy and Mark the room. Pretty much a a room that just looked like straight up white light, just a very big white room. When Cecil would show him something about everything under the skin of Cecil, under the skin of the, you know, pretty much, well, facility. And he would show Mark everything. He would show Mark the experiments they were doing here, how they were trying to figure out how to destroy Vultramite, you know, skin, also working on radiation, alien skulls and DNA and tissue, also trying to bring back the immortal back from life, and stuff like that. And Mark seeing, whoa. Now basically, also Billy seen this as well. But Caesar would have cut off the feed, and Mark and Billy would be uh, kind of, you know, confused. Now basically, Caesar would have told them both that they that he needs their help to stay on the radar, to stay safe. And pretty much tell them the same thing that pretty much Cecil was saying to Mark, both of them. As this as this would happen, you see that pretty much after that, after Mark and Billy would have came back to the house, you would see that pretty much Billy would have started to pack his stuff. Mark would have asked him, where are you going alongside his mother also asking that. Him saying, I can't stay here. I can't stay in the house of a man that just lived a lie. He lied to us. He didn't even care about us. He called mom a pet. He said I was just a tool. He only loved me because I had my powers. He only paid attention to me when I got my powers. He was just afraid that I could beat him. So he wanted me to get emotional. He wanted me to let him, well, come in. And pretty much Billy would have said that this man we call a dad, he may have raised us. But he was never our father. He never really loved you, Mark, or me. He always loved his mission. His mission was delayed because he didn't know if you were going to be a vulture might or not. Doesn't matter. Mark, he was always going to do the same thing. He was always going to do everything the same. Mark, he saw you get beaten. He saw you get your life taken away from you. Almost. From Battle Cat. He made you witness all those people dying from your hands. He killed all those people in front of you. He beat you to a bloody pulp. He almost killed both of us, Mark. I must stay in the same house that man lived in. The man that raised us. I'm not going to live here anymore, Mark. I can't. I refuse to. Billy would start to pack up his stuff. And Mark would have told him, please, don't, don't go. And pretty much, Billy would have said... If I don't feel the, if I don't feel a different way by the end of the week, I'm leaving, Mark. I don't care what you say. I just can't stay here any longer. Mark would have been feeling it, and Billy and Mark would have, their relationship would have started to triple down a little bit. As we see Amber come to Mark's building or his house, trying to pretty much, well, basically what happened is well, Amber would have tried to rekindle stuff with Mark. And get back together with them. And at this point, I hated Amber this scene, bro. Amber is like a double sided. Like the second Mark got his butt whooped by his dad, she came back saying, I will support you, Mark. But the second Mark tells you his secret identity, trying to hash things with you, you refuse to get hashed and you refuse to let him in. Bro, like, what? It's confusing, bro. I, I don't understand comic book women because they just make stupid stuff up out of nowhere. If they think they can just what, do whatever they want. Like, it, it, I freaking hate it. But basically, pretty much we would see that the group would have rehashed stuff. Basically, Billy going out to pretty much meet up with Shrink Ray on a little bit of a get together or a date something. Basically, him saying, I'll meet up with you later, Mark. I'll meet up with you later, bro. And to Mark, basically him walking off saying hi, William. He would have walked off, basically him pretty much getting in, basically him getting in, what was it, a motorcycle. Cecil 
commission him because Cecil felt bad because, well, Billy pretty much lost the second father figure he had after his actual father died. Now, basically, we see that pretty much, well, Billy would have drawn off and would have met up with Shrink Ray. He would have met up with Shrink Ray and started to, well, pretty much talk to her for a little bit. And they would, you know, have a moment. If I mean a moment, I mean, like, you know, as the ex. But basically, pretty much... What would happen after that? Billy would have said, I gotta go home. Basically, you're saying, stay a little bit longer. Billy would have said, nah, I gotta go. And he would get ready and leave. Basically, after that, we see that Billy would have drove back home. Him having flashbacks of his father. Being him. Him having flashbacks of everything that happened in his life. Him having flashbacks of everything wrong in his life. His parents. And eventually, he would go all the way back to his actual parents' being killed and he would have lost control of the bike and he would have fell down before he hit the ground he would say shazam and he would make a crater underneath him he would be able to save his motorcycle and he would have gone back on it he would have drove him back to pretty much the diner where mark william amber and eve were and he would have walked towards them getting into the bar where william and eve were in basically him saying that pretty much what's, what's happening and basically they would talk the same them asking him questions and stuff like that. But he would get a call. And Mark would have gotten a call. And basically, pretty much he would get a call. Some sort of alien threat outside the atmosphere. He would tell Mark, he would tell Billy to come along. But Billy would have just said, okay, fine, whatever. Basically, he's not being really that, you know, well, big about it. But he was still put on the face because, you know, he, his whole personality of a hero is he's all, you know, quirky and stuff. As he would do this, he would transform into pretty much, or say Shazam, him transforming into Shazam, and pretty much him flying up there with Mark. As we would see that pretty much, well, the alien guy, pretty much, what was it, alien, Alan the alien, would have told Mark about the Vulture Mites, and pretty much, what was it, told Billy and Mark about the Vulture Mites and everything, but pretty much he would have said, ah, uh, I know. Pretty much him saying, wait, you, you know? They would have told him everything, but Billy would just be looking at the stars, not just ignoring them. Now, pretty much, well, Alan would have asked, you know, pretty much Mark what's up with his brother. And pretty much Mark would have said, um, let's just say, just weird stuff, I guess. Now, basically, what would happen is pretty much, well, what would happen is Alan would have said, okay, so you are half Ultramite. Your father called your mother a pet. He beat you half with a death and your brother and blah 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 basically he would have said that if you ever need help mark i'm here both of you now pretty much billy would have said if you can help us from telling us where Voltrum is pretty much billy pretty much mark would have been confused saying billy what are you asking and pretty much ellen would have said what do you mean he says i'm i have the powers and the strength of a god i could take on a Voltrum." I could take off a vulture mite. My father tricked me once from saying the word that deactivated my powers. But if I re really just focus, I feel like I could destroy all the vulture if I really wanted to. Pretty much he would say, that's suicide, Mark. That's suicide, Billy. You know. A whole planet of vulture mites could completely destroy you. And you know that. You saw how your father did to you. Even in your Shazam form. Pretty much, Billy would have asked, what do you mean? He says, I have people on Earth, Billy. Basically, he would have said that pretty much stuff is happening and you guys have to stay here. Pretty much, Mark and Billy would have started to hash this out. And after that, you could switch to end credit scenes to everything that was happening in the original. Pretty much everything that's happening with Cecil manufacturing the pretty much cyborg androids for his own bidding. Also, the, pretty much, the, oh, uh, is it, the Merler twins also being freed. And also, pretty much, well, and also basically, um, what was it, basically, oh, uh, was it, um, I think, what was his name? The Rock Guy, I don't remember his name, but everything going just like in the same, just like in the same, in the original. And also everything about Battle Cat and everything. And pretty much just leading up to stuff next season. But it would be an added bonus. What would happen is we would see pretty much well. 
Everything would happen the same, but what would happen is, well, we would see that Black Adam would be in a dark, excellent area in space, zooming through the cosmos, saying, I'll find you, and when I do, I'll make you suffer. And pretty much we would get ended off there. Pretty much Mark, Mark and pretty much, well, pretty much Alan saying that things are coming. Very big things. And that's where the season will leave off. And that's where this season leaves off for now. At least until season two comes out. But that's where I'm going to leave it off here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like it and subscribe. And before I go, guys, this has been a really good series. And this is my first What If that I've actually finished this the What If for a pretty long time. Now, pretty much, this What If is pretty good and if you guys liked it like subscribe leave a comment even and basically just stay tuned guys after this video i will be uploading a new deku what if i was thinking about it the whole time what if deku was chucky and it kind of feels like it's not gonna make sense because i've done some horror what ifs with chucky or i mean horror what ifs with deku like what if deku was ghost face that's Good, I guess. Uh, it's a pretty good, simple design because Ghostface is a human-ish. Just he has, he just has plot armor as the horror character, the horror movies main, you know, antagonizer, or the horror mo The reason why the horror movie is a horror movie, but basically, what happened is well, I would have to say that pretty much out of this video, I will be uploading a new Deku. What if? What if Deku was Black Lightning? Now that's because I just saw. I saw all the whole series, Black I mean, I rewatched all of it leading up to season four, so I would bring in the, you know, I would know everything. But basically, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later. And deuces. Be safe out there. You know, tomorrow's about, tomorrow's about to be a snowstorm.